Why, hello there. Last night, I saw The Adventures of Tintin. And I saw it as it was intended in 3D. Um, I'll go ahead and give it a 6. Uh, I thought it was fine. Um, mostly boring. That's in a nutshell. Uh, well made, but boring. Um, which it shouldn't be. So it's an added frustration. Uh, it's about Tintin 10 and his adventures. Uh, he basically uh, is a boy reporter um, who has had much success and now he's unlocking the mystery of three ships uh, that belong to the Haddock family and have been lost and separated and what have you. Uh, he's trying to reunite them all because they all contain a piece of a puzzle that when combined will uh, lead you to the most valuable sunken treasure ever. Uh, so it's his, his adventure to do that and to avoid uh, there's also a evil pirate uh, out to get the same clues, I guess. And we'll stop at nothing to get said clues. So we must avoid them, him as well. Um, stars Jamie Bell as Tintin. Uh, Andy Serkis. Uh, Daniel Craig. Who else was in there? This is an animated film. It, uh, I guess more accurately, it's a motion capture animated film, much like uh, the Zemeckis films, uh, Beowulf, Polar Express, um, Nightmare, not Nightmare, A Christmas Carol. Um, I don't know if it's the same technology, uh, you know, brand, if you will, but I mean, it's the same process, I would think. Uh, so when I say that the people are in it, these are, you know, people who are, you know, wearing a suit and, um, you know, a green screen suit or blue suit with all these points of articulation uh, in order to capture their performance. Um, some things Andy Serkis is no doubt uh, all too used to after portraying Gollum and uh, I can't remember the uh, chimp's name in Rise of the Planet of the Apes. What was it? Newton? Was it Newton? He had a smart name, didn't he? Anyhow, Andy Serkis, very good at his job. Um, the animation is fine. It, it oftentimes was beautiful. I don't really understand the style of animation. This trying to replicate um, to infantitum the details of the human face and the eye. Because they don't have the eyes yet. Their eyes are still mostly expressionless. I mean, the flesh around the eye is expressive, but the eye themselves, you know, where acting takes place, um, is not there yet. And I don't know why they want to do it that way, you know? Uh, you just get people to do it. Um, I would think, or I would want to make it, you know, a cartoon, you know, uh, make the individuals outlandish. I don't know why they couldn't have done in the same style, but yet make Tintin look like Tintin, you know, um, the crude, but elegant, I suppose, animated drawing. You know, why can't we have that world brought to life? Uh, instead, it, you know, it looks like it's just trying to be so human. Um, I guess all the performances are fine. Uh, you know, it, again, they're vocal performances and, and motion performances. Uh, I would think that some of the facial expression is lost in the translation. Uh, but, I mean, it mostly came through. I mean, it's mostly there. But the acting is all fine. I don't have any problem with that. I think Andy Serkis is having a great year. 
Um, I'm all for Andy Serkis getting uh, his comeuppance. Um, I guess my, again, the beef with it is that, uh, you know, this is a Steven Spielberg film um, and a Peter Jackson production as well as Steven Spielberg. So I don't understand why you have two of the most creative minds uh, working in the business and it's not more exciting. You know, there's, there's plenty of thought. I mean, it really... I saw this back-to-back -back with Mission Impossible 4 and they are both pretty much non-stop action and they both pretty much have you know a very slim uh, plot but it seems like all of the action in Mission Impossible goes to serve the purpose goes to serve the purpose of the story and here the action for Ten Ten was just eye candy um, you know, something to do. Uh, it kind of felt hollow in a way. Uh, there were a few times when I went, wow. You know, where I think if you were watching a blockbuster animated, uh, wanting to be groundbreaking film, you should be going, wow, all the time. Um, you know, you should be leaned forward. Uh, in anticipation, eyes wide, mouth open, and it just never happened. Uh, I mean, a couple times I did go, cool, you know, but I don't think ever, wow. Um, and I laughed a couple times. There were a few good, uh, few good laughs here and there. I have to admit that uh, I have no idea uh, what 1010 is all about. I've never read a 1010 uh, before this film. My only exposure uh, to 1010 uh, came from The Simpsons. Uh, they've made a few references to 1010 throughout the canon of The Simpsons and that's pretty much my only exposure to it. So I don't know how faithful uh, to the material. Uh, you know, I don't know if that spirit is captured. Um, I think the film has done very well overseas. Uh, not so well here, um, which is exactly uh, the story of 1010 in terms of America. I don't know why we've never really gotten uh, 1010, but we, we don't know. I don't know if that's like it's available to us, if it's unavailable, uh, and we just don't buy it or read it, or it's not popular. I don't, I don't know. Um, I just know that I've gone pretty much my, higher, my entire life without ever seeing an actual 1010 book. Um, again, my sole reference for 1010 is through The Simpsons. Um, as with most things. Uh, I really, I don't really know what else to say. I was just mostly bored. Um, there, there weren't too many people in the theater. Uh, I did see it in 3D. I thought it, you know, it was filmed, shot, conceived in 3D, uh, so a lot of the action set pieces benefit from that. Um, I don't think they really play to it, like saying, okay, well, this is in 3D, we've got to do something that comes out of the screen. Um, I think it just goes to deepen the action. Um, Again, I, and all of the action is very well choreographed, uh, very well done. Uh, the film looks gorgeous. You know, the the animation is is outstanding. You know, so I can't say that it's a bad movie because there's so much work going into it. Um, I wish there were more love. Uh, I would have to say this was uh, co-written by Edgar Wright, who did uh, Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, um, Scott Pilgrim. Uh, I could, I mean, I guess I would have to say, I mean, I'm not in, 
sure of what else he's done, but this has got to be his least successful project. Uh, and I, that's what I was kind of surprised about, is that it really lacked the um, heart and the love of... I mean, Edgar Wright writes and makes films about things that he loves, and that love comes across. So I just assumed that he loved Tintin and wanted to honor Tintin by making a great Tintin film. Uh, I don't get that here. You know, that, that love, that passion did not come across. Um, really, it's just that animation style, there not much comes across. It's just like everything is kind of dead, is flat on the screen. And in a 3D animated film, that's, you know, not what you want. Uh, but some of the uh, some of the action uh, pieces were you know spectacular. Uh, there is a uh, naval battle, you know, two pirate ships, you know, blowing the hell out of each other. That was kind of amazing, you know. I, I don't really think I've seen something quite like that. Um, it was a intense scene. Um, <laughs> one that's, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's outlandish. I, I don't think it would be possible in any kind of world, but, you know, that's why you go to the movies. Um, so I did, again, have some fun. I did say, wow, cool, that's cool. Uh, but it was, I think, only twice, like literally, I said that. Uh, and I never really got into it. I spent most of the film uh, reclined uh, with my feet up on the seat next to me. Um, you know, enjoying it, but never really sucked into the story and made, never manipulated. Um, so it was just kind of like yawn. Uh, so that's, uh, The Adventures of Ten Ten. I don't really know what else to say about it. Uh, it's a six. I've got to give it a six. Um, check it out sometime. If you got kids, you'll probably see it sooner than later. Um, I, I, there were some kids, mostly there, it was, uh, in the theater, men, you know, like younger to middle-aged single men, but there was a family who came in and I noticed that the kids did like have fun, you know, they did laugh a lot. Uh, so that, you know, again, this movie is for kids. So, you know, I'm sure the kids will enjoy it a lot more than I did. Uh... Yeah, okay. That's it. That's pretty much all I got to say. That's 1010, 10, The Adventures of 1010, 10, and it's a six. Thank you.